Alrighty, you lot, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to very quickly and easily work your way through the Titan Conquest um, with basically a couple of free-to-play teams. Um, there's, I'm going to be using one that I highly, highly recommend um, that is pretty much basically just, like I said, it's completely free. Uh, you basically just get it from finishing the special reward. So it does require Levi. Now, all these, other th all these uh, missions are very, very easy to complete. The only one that might double up and might be like slightly counterintuitive is this one where you need to use a special exchange shop five times during the event which is this shop which is how you get Levi but you only get it through doing this so I will quickly show you um, like the human team that I'd recommend using if you don't have Levi um, but the one I'm actually going to be showing you in the fight is going to be the one that you want to use right so basically in short let's build a team really quickly so the we'll just get rid of we'll just we'll just pick this one right so the, the basically the way you want to be doing this team is ideally the, the second best team to the one i'm going to show you with the collab units uh is going to be basically uh, an lr eskinol team right now whatever that kind of looks like for you is probably then dependent on how you want to build it out my recommendations are always going to be well not always but for this are going to be um light barn LR Eskinor, and then you can kind of fill the rest in. I like to run Green Arthur because uh, of his passive, which I think always works here. And then you can always run Kizune if you want to as well. You can run Roxy if you want to. You can run, um, yeah, basically whatever other human humans that you have that builds up your human team. Obviously, that's somewhat effective, right? I don't have a massive amount of my humans built just because I haven't really been a focus of mine. You could maybe run Brunhild as well because it is blue, so that could be helpful. But basically, in short, you want to run an LR Eskinor team. Or if you don't have LR Eskinor, you can simply just run a tra uh, Transcendent Barn team. Again, build it around that. Now, because you're building maybe a, a team that doesn't need all humans for LR Eskinor, right? What you can maybe do is you can run wherever he is. Tamil, right? Because basically, you also want him to be the lowest HP as well. So the common theme with this, I'm jumping a little bit all over the place, but the common theme with this boss is the person with the lowest HP obviously gets attacked, but he will then also attack disable that person as well, right? So basically, you want that to be Tamil because he'll also get attacked and it'll also proc his passive, right? Which is basically all eyes basic stats will increase by 6% every time you know, he gets attacked and restores his HP. So if he gets attacked five times, you're good to go. You got a 30% increase. So this is a team that I like to use. Obviously, you can swap out Brunhild for something in the back, maybe like a Merlin, right, to push ultimate. Uh, this Merlin here, you can push ultimate with. Uh, but basically, something that can increase your damage and have one big main damage dealer. I haven't seen too many people use the one Escanor, uh, the one ultimate, sorry. But I mean, he can, you know, unless... I can't see why you wouldn't be able to use him, but obviously by doing by building up Barn and getting lots of debuffs on him, you'll also do a lot of damage that way. Now, I will preface this with this team that you're building is pretty much just so you can get this mission done. Just so, so what I would recommend is go to the special shop as soon as you've done a few Attack on Titans conquests and simply just go and buy like the cheap thing from growth right and that'll give you enough to be able to complete the mission and that'll unlock levi for you that's when you actually unlock the team that you want to be using and that team that you want to be using is dun, da, da, da. where is it no i've gone past it <laughs> this one this is the team you want to be using right so as you can see mine aren't overly invested into my levi is not very much not very invested into i don't have a lot of resources at the moment i think i can maybe yeah, I can maybe get them up to 90 now, which is exciting, um, but I won't do it for the sake of this video. Um, just to show that you don't really need a lot of investment in the team. This is the team I will be running right now. This is completely free to play. All these units have been free through free through different collabs. Uh, so Eris was free, free in the last collab. Obviously, AOT free unit currently. This is the one caveat is you need to be playing for a little bit so you can get the shield hero free unit of Kizune. This is probably my favorite collab unit we've had in terms of especially the free ones it's been so strong she's been so strong um so if you don't have her like i said you can maybe uh substitute out green arthur as well but she's pretty she's not key but she's definitely helpful for this um and then yeah, you just have merlin this merlin in the back to push ultimate right so it's simply just this team that you're going to be running now obviously at 230 kcc you ideally want to be at 240 kcc to out cc the extreme boss um but it's not the end of the world if you go second. I've done it going second before. 
um, but also just do hard <laughs> until you've leveled them up, right? Because um, it won't take you much more to get this over the line. Um, now, in terms of gear, like I said to you before about Tamiel, you always want the lowest HP to be targeted. So I've just given Eris some really basic SSR HP defense gear. I've given Levi Meliodas' attack crit gear, because he's our damage dealer, right? He's the one that's going to be doing all the damage. And then Kizune and Merlin just have HP defense because they are just support units. Now, the key thing with this boss is using the AOT units is always really strong because they will do more damage. Uh, they do 300% more damage and take 100% less damage, right? So it, this guy is by far the best, but if you have the other, wherever the other one is, somewhere down here, you can use them as well. The other error and the free SR error, and you can use, there he is. I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, he'll do nowhere near as well as this Levi. Now, the reason why this Levi is super good is because of his passive will basically attack the enemy with the lowest percent of HP results in a crit strike. So you're going to crit this guy and this main single target is a spike card, right? So this will do a lot of damage. Uh, ideally you have his holy relic as well. It's not a must have, but it will definitely help because for every 20%, you get an increase in crit damage for every 20% per orb in the hero's ult cage. So if you push full ult cage, you get an extra 100% crit damage and I'll show you why that's key. So this is the team you want to be running. Like I said, you can build another team around him as well if you don't have all of those units but ideally this is the team you're running it is free to play and it is the the, the best team you can get for this so without further ado let's jump into it so now i am going to show you guys on hard just because i'm going to be soloing this because trying to find someone in asia to do around this time is actually quite difficult um but you can do the same thing on extreme like i said extreme is actually 240k cc so you might want to boost up these guys a little bit more or even Merlin a little bit more just so you have um, the CC you need. You can always eat a combat class food if you really need to. However, ideally what you're doing is you're eating an alt move, an alt move, an alt gauge food, right? So you're going to start off the fight with two alt gauge uh, and this is kind of going to be how you're going to go into it. Now I am running the allies attack increase by for each applicable ally in the battlefield, right? So humans and unknown. So I am getting a 9% attack increase here you can just run cc um cc food cc artifact cards if you need to but this is kind of the one that i'm running so this is the team we'll be using and i will simply show you what we're doing so the strategy is the same whether you're on extreme or hard right it doesn't matter yeah that's, that's what i meant to say it doesn't really matter either which way okay so i've cut myself off because the previous round like that run that i'm trying to show you i just got completely shafted with cards uh, and when you're trying to do it solo, it uh, it doesn't really help. Um, so I'm basically just hoping I'm going to top deck the right cards I need. And I'll re-explain kind of the goal here. So perfect. Okay, so this is an ideal scenario. I've top decked a spike card with Levi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge those two together. I'm going to waste his other card. And then I'm going to use this card to increase attack related stats. Now, with Kizune and using this card, um, it may not... Like, he does have a buff removal, so that can cause me problems. But now, basically, what I'm doing, I'm at the point now where I have a level 2 spike card, and I have his ultimate, because I've got Merlin in the back, as well as pushed... Um, as well as had ult food, right? So, now the entire process is basically just use the spike card. Now, there might be an argument made to use this first. To be honest, I might try using this first. So, we're going to buff up. Kizune, we didn't have the attack related stats as well, and then I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do that as well. Right, so I'm going to use his ultimate to cancel the defense buffs, which should hopefully help me. Right, so that does 2.8 mil, and then he does his 1.2 mil. Right, now ideally that you know that kills, but I've had times where it kills, I've had times where it doesn't. But cool, we top decked another spike card, which is nice. So what I can do here is, and Eris is always going to die for me, just because my Eris and stuff is very low, um, very low level, um, and does not have the defense reduction that my Levi does at 85. Um, but basically, cool. Now what I can do here is perfect. So now, because I top deck the cards again, what I simply can do is I can buff up, and I can use the two Levi spike cards, and this should just finish it off for me. Right, so I have attack related stats, I have the stat boost, and then I'll just be able to go in with Levi. There's one 650k, and then there's another for 713k, and that's that. So that's how I soloed hard. Now, obviously, if you're doing, you know, it, it not by yourself and you have three others, it does make it a lot easier. Um, but the whole purpose of this is basically just push Levi alt, use his alt, use his level two spike card, and away you go, right? 
Um, so that's the basic process now. Obviously, if you don't have Levi in your team, you use the other teams that I suggest and you can do a similar strategy where you push ultimate or you just start working your way through. Um, like I said, basically you're only doing that until you can exchange enough to basically get Levi because that is by far the easiest and best team to be using. Like I said, if you don't have you know, some of these units, where is it? You can maybe swap out Eris or swap out Kizune for like Green Arthur or whatever. Like basically whatever you're doing is the whole point is to give boosts to Levi, right? Like the, his whole, he, he's the damage dealer, pushes ultimate, uses spike cards and away you go. So hopefully that was nice and straightforward. That was, I think three turns doing it solo. Um, so hopefully that makes sense guys. And I hope that works for you. So any questions, let me know down in the comments, but otherwise best of luck with it. And I'll catch you all in the next one.